I bought one of these RM LSG lasers by iProtec. Uh, it was a rather inexpensive laser. I think it was roughly $40, $40, at one of the local big box uh, outdoor stores. Uh, it uh, looked nice. I thought I'd had fun, wanted to have fun on the cheap. Had some real issues installing it. Someone else has done a rant on it, which I nearly did, but I discovered my error, which I'll now go into. Now, I wasted a lot of time setting this up initially because I mounted it improperly. And although I made the mistake, the instructions were not very clear. And from the back of the box here, you will be able to see the key to the proper mounting. Uh, it was not obvious and I had to go back a couple times to figure out how they wanted it mounted. I will zoom in in a second on the uh, giveaway here. And this is the tip off. The comment that says adjustable hinge mount no tools required. Uh, it doesn't really give you much more information in the manual, but that was the clue that helped me figure out the proper way to mount this. Here we have the mounting instructions from the manual, these two pictures and the short blurb under them. Most people will simply clip the mount onto the rail and tighten it down that will not work. The second picture doesn't make it clear that what you have to do is there is a spring hinge mount there. You must press, I found it easier to press up on the body of the laser than down on the screws and it will seat it properly against the rail. This will angle the lens up towards the barrel so you can now focus the lens in conjunction with your uh, barrel. So you'll see shortly uh, what I'm referring to. In this second picture, all it says is adjustable hinge mount. It does not give the proper indication as to how it functions. The laser is incorrectly mounted here. If you take a close look, you'll see the body of the laser is just about parallel to the mount. Uh, if you look at the on-off switch, it is basically parallel to the mount, which is also parallel to the barrel. So you will never be able to get the laser aimed properly with the barrel. Here is a long shot of the incorrectly mounted laser. Notice it is on the horizontal. It is in line with the barrel, parallel to the barrel. You will not be able to uh, aim this with, the, with a point of aim you desire uh, for the barrel. So we will now go on to show you how it looks properly mounted. This is a shot of the correctly mounted laser. If you look towards the back of the laser body, you can see there is now an angle to the mount. The front of the laser is now slightly tipped up towards the barrel. And in order to get this mount, when you loosen the mounting screw, you have to either push down on the screw, as they say in the manual, or I found it easier to push up on the body of the laser, hold it in place, and then tighten down the screw. And here is the long shot of the correctly mounted laser. Again, notice a slight angle at the back of it, and the front of the laser is now slightly tipped up towards the barrel. I will now go on with some videos of the aiming, both the incorrect and the correct, showing you what the problems were and how they corrected and properly aimed.
Your first inclination when you mount it on the handgun or rifle is as any standard mount, you're going to get it over the rail and tighten it down. Now, if you do that, what you're going to see is you see the gap here, and the result is going to be you're never going to be able to aim this thing. And I started thinking about doing a rant about this uh, laser and then went back to the manual which doesn't really give a lot of detail as you saw before and thought I was misreading something so sure enough I went back saw the way I mounted it and you'll see the problem in a minute and uh, the, the uh, vertical will be off and you will never be able to get the sight in line. Now in a second I'm going to take a bore sight and show you the problem and then we'll mount it properly and use the same bore sight and see if that fixes things. Now, okay we have a bore sight in the gun and I'm going to turn on the green laser so the bore sight is red, the green laser is obviously going to be green, uh, so there's no mistaking the two. Now, with the two adjustment screws they give you with this green laser, you can get close to the horizontal or you can get close to the vertical, but you cannot put the two dots onto each other if you mount it the way I just showed you. Okay, The mount is wrong. There, turns out there is a horizontal, or I should say a vertical uh, mount, and it's, uh, you have to put pressure on the laser and then lock it down. And that's what we're going to do right now, and we'll see what the results are then. Okay, now we're going to try mounting this the proper way. Again, they were not clear on this in the manual, so we get it over the mount maybe there we go and you're gonna have to push up and then you can tighten it down I will be back I'm gonna need two hands to finish this this is after the installation we have our red dot bore sight and now I'm gonna put on the green laser now that's moved up horizontally quite a bit. Now I will try to see if I can align the two. So give me a couple minutes and we'll see if we can get this thing to work. Okay, we're back. Now, this is roughly 25 feet, which is what I'd want for home defense. There's our red bore sight. I've got the cover put back on the laser. Should be adjusted. Now let's pop it on. We are now adjusted. Now I wasted about an hour yesterday trying to do this till I realized and went back to the manual to try and figure out if this could be adjusted. Uh, now. This morning I did call customer service to find out what they had to say and they haven't called me back. That's about six, seven hours now. Uh, so I figured this out on my own. Also, I'd like to comment, uh, there's another YouTube video out, there, uh, video out there. The gentleman was pretty disgusted with this unit or a similar model. And uh, I think he made the mistake I showed you, but uh, if you pay attention to what you're doing, you can be right on the mark. So there we are. It's working. It's adjusted. And uh, oh, one further comment. The two adjustment screws they give, one says right, one says up. Ignore them. You just play with them as you want. They say it's windage and elevation. Both do the same thing. One will move horizontal, the other will move horizontal. One will move vertical, the other will move vertical. You just play with it because it appears the lens is on a pivot. So, 
you figure that out. If it's pivoting, it's going to be rotating on that pivot point every time you turn the screw. Uh, but here it took me uh, really only five minutes once I properly mounted it to get the two dots lined up. Okay, so good luck if you decide to buy this. It's cheap. I think it cost me 40 bucks. For 40 bucks, you got what you paid for. It works. It's dead on for the bore sight at uh, 25 feet there. And obviously, it's only going to be accurate where you adjust it. So you'll know where you are, and uh, it can be aimed and it can be set up. Good luck.